Throughout the forest, remote cameras are placed to catch any mammals passing by. It's vital they find what lives here. They're surrounded by pristine forest. But the front line is getting closer. Just 20 miles south, the loggers have moved in. Every day, more trees disappear. George is pulling together all the evidence from the scientists. This report will be sent to government officials here in the hope that it'll add into a plan for conserving the wildlife here. This is a critical issue now. This whole area in the foothills of Basavi is a very special forest. The evidence is beginning to confirm that these forests are unique. And not only above the ground. To the east, the preparations for the underground exploration are well underway. Steve sets out on his trek to the cave entrance, with a little help from the villagers. They're heading to meet the team at their camp above the waterfall. The rest of the cavers have been there for a couple of days preparing the gear. They've brought state-of-the-art equipment to map the river that flows through these caves. Yeah, an awful lot more cave out there. Yeah, exactly. Care of, of what we're actually up against. As the only naturalist on the team, Steve's job is to search for any animals in the caves. We've got a remarkably strong team here. We have three members of the original expedition that came here just a couple of years ago. What's clear is that this is a giant cave system. This is a cave that goes on for a lot, lot further than they managed to explore. And that's our real aim, is to push on into areas where they thought there might be the chance of something special and try and find what's there. It's supposed to be the dry season. Heavy rains will flood the caves. It's bad at the moment. The whole reason we planned to do this trip now was because the rains aren't due for at least another month. And um, if this carries on, it's going to be more than discomfort. But we know where we'll get down the caves, and if we do, it'll be very, very dangerous. But at the moment, the world is mud, and just the fact that all the kit is going to die. Back at base camp, an injured bat's been brought in. Alana's nursing it back to health. This is a common blossom bat, and it eats nectar with a very long tongue. And because it eats sugar, it needs sugar every 24 hours. Can we do the honours? Yeah, absolutely. I'll just make sure. I think if we can get a good meal into her now and release her before it gets too warm, then she'll be fine. Bat is specially adapted to feeding on flowers. The whole thing. This fantastic. Look at that is uh, rolled up inside its mouth, sticks it out down between the petals of a flower so that it can get to the nectar. Which inside. is exactly what it's doing here. It's going straight down the syringe tip. Yeah. <laughs> it's just gone from being nearly unconscious to really perky. That is, that is really nice. Oh, there we go, some strength back. We should release it as soon as possible and then it won't be too hot for it to fly back to its day roost.